This video is step one for the BattleBot model that we'll be creating. The first step is to place the free image planes with which to create the geometry that will define the shape of our character. We'll start by creating a free image plane. Go under Create, Free Image Plane. And it's along my x-axis. And if you recall, all we need to do is place the image we want for our reference on this. I'm going to go to the Attribute Editor. In the Attribute Editor, I'm going to go down to where it says Image Name. I'll click on the folder, and I'll navigate out to my folder with the image planes that I want to use. And I'll choose Front, and I'll hit Open. Before I introduce anything else, in the Attribute Editor, I'm going to change the alpha gain to 0.5 to give me a little bit of transparency for my modeling process. Now the other two reference planes and images that you'll be provided with are the exact same size as this template. So I'm going to hit Command D to duplicate that free image plane. And then I'm going to rotate it on the Y axis. And in the y-axis, I'll rotate it minus 90. With the plane selected, I'll go to the attributes. And I'll go back out to the image name. And I'll choose side. And now I can see that I've got the image for the side view and the front view together. Now our objective is to have it so these red lines intersect one another. Now I need one more for the top view. I'll duplicate the free image plane from the side and I'll rotate that down on the x-axis minus 90. I'll go to the attributes and through the folder next to image name once again I'll click on the folder and I'll choose top view and open. So I have all three of the image planes here now. Now it's a matter of just arranging them so those red lines intersect. We'll take a moment to arrange these and then I'll come back and we can start the modeling process. With the image planes lined up the way I want I'm going to go to the channel box and the layers and with these three planes selected, I'll go over and add a new layer at the very end of the layer window. There's a little plane and a blue ball. When I click on it, it gives me a new layer and it also assigns the selected items to that layer. Once I've done that, I'll double click on the word layer one, name it template, and in the very last open blue box on that layer now, I will click twice. There'll be an R for restriction, which means that the image planes cannot be moved around while we're in the modeling process. 